Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we worked manually with this data set to calculate the normal and historical var and expected shortfall. Now we are going to replicate the same thing in Excel. So this is the data of prices. There are just 30 observations, so we are going to have 29 returns. The results based on this analysis, as I told you in the previous video, should not be used for any analytical purposes. This is just a demonstration of the calculation. Let us calculate the returns, the periodic returns first. So in this cell, we select this cell here. This is P1. We need to say minus P0. This is the P0. We close brackets and divide it by P0. We are not taking the log returns, we are just taking simple periodic returns. So this is the first periodic return. We want to find out the periodic returns for all periods. So we can select this right hand side corner of the cell and drag the formula down for all the cells. So we have periodic returns for all the periods now. For doing the normal distribution var, we need mean return. So we can calculate the mean return by using the average function. We are going to provide this array because this is the array for which we want the average. After the selection is done, we close the brackets and hit enter. So this is our mean return, 0.04 or 4%. We also need the standard deviation of returns. So we are using the STDEV function to compute the standard deviation. So inside the bracket we are providing the array again. Close the bracket, hit enter and we should have our standard deviation here 0.32. Now we want to find the 10% var. So we are looking at the 10th percentile, bottom 10% cases. How we do it? is by using the norm in function. So let us do it here. Equality sign N O R M I N V norm in start bracket and then Excel is asking us to provide the parameters. The first one is the probability which in our case we have decided to look at, look at the 10th percentile so the probability is 0 0.10 comma we need to supply the mean which is this comma we need to supply the standard deviation which is this close brackets and hit enter this is the 10 percent var we could say with 90 percent confidence that our loss will not exceed 36 percent we could do the same thing and calculate the 5 percent var which is the normal industry standard so once again norm inv this time the probability is 0 0.05 because we are doing a 5% var. The mean is this. The standard deviation is this. Close brackets, hit enter. And this is the 5% var, which is minus 0.48 or 48%. So we could say with 95% confidence that our maximum loss will be 48%. Now let us move over to historical var. For that first of all we need the number of observations in the data set. This is a small data set and we know that there are 29 observations. But if the data set is large you could use the count command or the count function C O U N T start bracket and give the array. So we are selecting the array and Excel will return us the number of observations 29 for the 10 percent var we need to look at the bottom 10 percent cases so 10 percent of 29 is 2.9 so we want to look at the 2.9th return Two point ninth return is going to lie between the third return and the second return so let, let us locate the bottom third return first. 
We have not sorted our series, but we don't need to really do it. We could tell Excel to give us the bottom third value from this series by using the small command or the small function. So we type in small and we provide the array. So we have told Excel to look for the smallest value in this array. We also need to tell Excel which smallest value. We are interested in the third value from the bottom. So we type in 3, close brackets and hit enter. So this is the bottom third value, minus 0.31. We could do the same thing to find out the bottom second return. Because we want Excel to look at the second return from the bottom, we type in a 2, close brackets and hit enter. So the bottom second return is minus 0.35. In this cell, we can find the bottom 2.9th return by interpolating and that would be our 10% historical VAR. Let us interpolate. Equality sign. We are starting with the bottom second return and we need to add on 0.9 of the difference between the third and the second return. So in the next bracket, we are going to find the difference between the third return which is this and the second return which is this and we are going to multiply this with 0.9 hit enter and what we get is minus 0.32 this is the 10 percent historical VAR this means that we are 90 percent sure that our maximum loss would be 32 percent this is a little different from the normal distribution VAR. This tells us that probably the return distribution is not strictly normal. We can do the same thing to find the 5% historical VAR. Let us repeat. So we are looking at the bottom 5% of the cases now. 5% of 29 is 1.45. And 1.45 lies between the first return and the second return. So we need to locate 1.45 return. For which we need to notice, we need to note down the bottom second return. This is going to be small, our array, and 2. This is the bottom second return. And then we are going to find out the bottom first return, which is going to be the least return or the lowest return in the series. Select the array and we want the first value from the bottom. So we type in a 1, close brackets and hit enter. This is the bottom first return, minus 0.41. We can now interpolate to find the bottom 1.45th return. We start with the second return. We start with the um, first return and then we add the difference between the second return and the first return and multiply 0.45. Hit enter. This is 2.27. something seems to be not correct here which is that I omitted the dot here I multiplied with 45 we should say 0.45 so we have minus 0.38 here this is the 5% historical VAR if you compare it with the normal VAR at 5% you see that there's a difference a substantial difference this tells us that the normal that the return distribution is not normal. We can find out the characteristics of the distribution very quickly in Excel. We can go to the data tab here and we'll go to this analysis section and click on data analysis. 
but for this to be active the data analysis add-in needs to be installed on your machine if it is not you can go to the Excel button here go to Excel options click add-ins and down here click go this pop-up will tell you all the add-ins available and also which ones are installed you can see here that the analysis tool pack is already installed on this machine if it is not installed on your machine you need to check these two boxes and click OK Excel will take some time and install the analysis tool pack onto your machine since it is already installed on this machine I'm going to hit cancel once you see the data analysis tab here you click on it and we can look at some descriptive statistics of our return distribution so we select descriptive statistics and click OK we provide the input range which is our return series it has already been selected here we want our output to be returned in cell D1 which is this cell here and we want summary statistics we click OK here we see some summary statistics about our return distribution the mean is 0 0.04 the standard deviation is 0 0.3188 for a normal distribution the excess kurtosis should be zero but we see that in this one we have a negative kurtosis this means that the left tail does not have many values skewness of a normal distribution we know it has to be equal to zero but this return distribution is slightly positively skewed so we have deviated from normality a little bit and that is why we see a difference between the normal distribution var and the historical var since the kurtosis is negative we are looking at basically a platycurtic distribution which is flatter than normal and does not have too many values in the tail that is why when we computed the historical var at the bottom 5% we found the loss to be just 38% negative whereas under the assumption of normality it would have been 48% negative